Isolation is dangerous. Isolation in the battlefield, if you're in an actual battle, so I hear, being alone is kind of not good. Yeah? In verse 24, he calls us to stir up, and it's a strong word. In fact, the only other place the word is used, it's uh, parazusmos, and it's the only place it's used is Acts 15, 39 in the, in the New Covenant Scriptures. Speaking of, it's the word used for the sharp argument between Paul and Barnabas. They caused, us, caused them to split. So it has to do with a provoking. It says, provoke one another. Provoke one another to love and obedience. In, in the exhaustion and the weariness on the battlefield, sometimes... Soldiers lose perspective, and they just want to lay down and go to sleep and die on the battlefield. Sometimes they're just so tired. I just can't. And the one next to them says, no. And they pick them up, and they say, come on. Your mama's waiting for you back home. Your wife, your kids, no, you're not going to die here. Come on, and you provoke. You're going to get to the next spot. I know you're tired, but I'm going to carry you. We're going together. You provoke. Stop. Don't stop meeting together because you need one another. Because there are going to be moments where you just want to collapse in exhaustion and despair and go, I can't do it anymore. And with love, And because of love, you go, no, I'm not going to leave you on the battlefield to die. Provoke one another. Verse 32, he says, remember the former days when after you were enlightened, after your eyes were opened, you endured a great struggle with sufferings. Sometimes you were publicly exposed to abuses and afflictions. And other times you became partners with those who were treated this way. You, you chose to. You were like, no way. I'm going to stand with you. Verse 34, for you suffered along with the prisoners and joyfully accepted the plundering of your possessions, knowing that you have for yourselves a better and lasting possession. He spurs them on. You remember? Do you remember who you were? Do you remember when this all started? Remember when you first believed? You suffered. You remember the price that you had to pay then? You've been through this. You even chose at times to face it with others. You courageously volunteered. You had your possessions taken, but you had them taken with an eternal perspective. You knew, nope, I've got a better hope. They can touch my earthly possessions, but I've got an earthly account they can't touch. Remember, he says. He's spurring them on. You were strong and you endured. 